Welcome back to another YouTube video and I am joined with Julian Goldie. Hello there. The man, the myth, the legend. He's not a pirate this week. Um, I need to bring the bandana back. <laughs> yeah, just like for, for special occasions though. Um, but today we are going to be using Gemini and we're going to be trying to break it, see, seeing what's working, seeing what we used Google Bard for and now what we possibly can't do with Gemini. There's been a lot of um, controversy, to say the least, recently on social media and stuff where people are complaining, saying it absolutely sucks. Why did they get rid of Bard? But I don't know about you, Julian, but when I was using um, Bard back in the day, it wasn't the, the best and it kind of got better with time. Yeah, that's it. I think it's trained on data, right? So the more people use it, the more intelligent it becomes because it figures out, okay, here's how to respond to people and here's how to optimize the responses. Yeah, definitely. So um, what what's like one or two things that you used to use BARD for um, that potentially we can, we can showcase today? Keyword research was a decent one. And right. the data is, it's not confirmed whether it actually comes from Google. So I think you have to take it like any data from AI with a little bit of a pinch of salt but it's good for getting the overall trends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, I, I remember that I, I, I saw like somebody on LinkedIn saying that, um, yeah, Google Bard plugs into everybody's Google search console and it pulls the data that way. And I was like, yeah, that's 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 a lie. Um, but it's, it's, it's not as advanced as what we think. Um, but do you want to go first? You can share like one keyword research strategy that you used to do, and then I'll show my keyword research strategy that I used to do and see, see if it, first of all, see if it still works on, on Gemini because it might not actually work. And then um, we can see if it's actually gotten better or potentially if it's decreased in quality as well. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just going to find the workflow. <clears throat> Yeah, so for anybody that's not watched Julian's videos, he has got a SOP for literally everything. I, I reckon you might have an SOP for waking up. Even for ordering water, <laughs> I have an SOP. Do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To order water in the most fastest, efficient way. Some people can't drink tap water here. <laughs> See, the, the, this is what I mean. He, he just documents everything in life. Um. Maybe in a hundred years they'll look. They'll have it in a museum, like Julian's water ordering SOP, and it's like printed out on the wall, <laughs> like a like um like the old Egyptians back in the day, where it's like all in, um, inscribed on the wall and stuff. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's going to be just like that. Let me find this. Out. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah. All right, Jeez. I'll um. Yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I'll share my screen. I, I did kind of put Julian on, on the spot there. I was like, yeah, go on. Um, but if I share my screen now, you should be able to see. So this is Gemini um, Advanced. You could also use the, the non-advanced. So what I might actually do is I'll use the non-advanced version to see what that's like. And then I'll, I might also use this exact same script or the exact same prompt on the advanced version. Um, and see what the differences are. So if we do something like, can you do keyword research um, using the alphabet soup method <clears throat> for, um, uh, using the alphabet soup method and wild card, the keyword is lawyers for, and then we will do <clears throat> swap out the well, uh, swap out the star for relevant keywords. So this is the actual prompt here. I'll zoom in so you guys can all see. Can you do keyword research using the alphabet soup method and wildcard? The keyword is lawyers for and then star. So this could literally be whatever you want and swap out the star for other relevant keywords. 
So if we just go back to 100% zoom and we'll do submit. Now, what I used to use Google Bard for was the alphabet soup method. I thought it was really um, relevant, some of the um, answers that would spit out, uh, mainly because it's obviously attached to, to Google auto-suggest and stuff. Um, but let's see what it actually comes back with now, right? What I'll also do here is I will use the exact same prompt in advanced, and I'll see what the differences are. So <clears throat> it has come back. Now we have got goals and um, target audience. Yep. Generate, uh, create keyword co combinations using the alphabet soup method. Systematically combine these seed keywords, forming new phrases with lawyers for. Yep. So it looks like it has done exactly what we asked it to do. So lawyers for accidents, which would be like personal injury and stuff, lawyers for businesses, lawyers for criminal charges, lawyers for debt, divorce, estate planning, family. Um, and so on and so forth, right? So one thing that I would want to do is what a lot of people would think is they can just write all of these articles and that's deemed as topical authority, right? When it's actually not. Um, one thing that we would also want to do is go one tier deep. So for example, we have got lawyers for accidents. Um, so the next prompt I'm gonna give it is give me all related blog articles to do with um, for my website. So this is going to give us like, for example, how much does a accident lawyer cost? Um, how to assess um, if a accident lawyer is viable for, for my accident? I'm hoping it comes back with certain things like that. And it seems like it actually do, 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 do. identifying relevant topics, car accidents, slips, falls, malpractice to care different user needs. So it's not actually giving us a list. Google Bard used to give you a list on that. Now it'll be interesting to see if advanced version of it does. Um, one thing I will say is just by looking at this, the prompt looks a lot more um, in depth because it's actually done like the A, B, C method. So if anybody ha that has been watching or if anybody's been subscribed to Steve Toff's SEO notebook, this is how he does his keyword research. Um, and it also how he gets his questions as well. So he, he would do lawyers for A, lawyers for B, lawyers for C, and then he'd have dedicated pages. So from the word go, advanced looks a lot better um, than just a free version. Um, additional wildcard variations, um, lawyers for disputes, lawyers for in location. Yes, some of these is really, it's actually pretty decent what's come back with. Now let's try um, the exact same prompt that we tried here. Um, give me all related blog articles to do with lawyers for accidents. I'm just gonna fire this into the advanced version and see what it comes back with. Now, the goal is, is that um, we're gonna get a list of articles. Um, yeah, it actually has to be fair. Essential steps to take immediately after an accident, understanding different types of accident claims, how to choose the right accident lawyer for your case, exactly what I said before, the statute of limitations for accidents in your state. Now, one thing I did uh, I, that I didn't mention is that we are in the UK. Um, so this article might not be as relevant, but again, if you guys are in the US or whatever, definitely what to expect during the accident claims process, um, common questions about accident lawyers um, answered. I don't need a lawyer, the, the insurance is being fair. Yep, local specific angles. Do you know what? This has come back with a lot of decent related articles. Um, so I, I think from a keyword research point of view, um, I don't think that Gemini is that good the the non-premium i think that the advanced is 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 gone to detail and 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 um a lot of the inf the informative guides and also the alphabet soup method as well what, what's your thoughts on that julian yeah it's better than some of the other ai tools that i've seen so i think we tested the same thing on for example complexity earlier today and that was not as good as this like it seems a lot more advanced 
It's yeah. more in depth. It's more analytical when it comes back to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, do you know what? I think it is all to do with the prompts and stuff that you give it. So it, it, like when people say AI is not that good, it's only as good as what you essentially tell it to do. Um, but yeah, are you ready to show your example now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do so, it. Actually, one of the things, one of the newest things I've seen with Gemini is that you can actually... You aren't sharing, by the way, you know that, right? Link it to... Oh, there we go. So you can link it to different apps so within Google, right? So you can say, like, search Google Docs. I, I assume you'd be able to search your emails and that sort of thing as well, which is pretty interesting. But, yeah, so basically, for example, I've tried this prompt right here, which is give me keywords related to, and then you insert your niche with their competition scores and search volumes, right? Rate the competition score out of five, five being the highest, zero being the lowest. Give me 20 low competition score keywords of two or less and arrange it in a table so it's nice and easy to understand. So like very, very specific prompt. If we scroll down, you can see how it's, it's giving you the methodology for doing mm -hmm. the keyword research. And then you can see in the example table, it's broken down the search volume and the competition score. And then one thing I do like about chat uh, about Gemini versus say chat GPT is that you can export the data directly into Google sheets and it kind of links with everything, right? It's kind of like in one ecosystem. So if you're, yeah. I don't know about you, but for me, I'm using Google docs like constantly. And so yeah, I'm the same. It could be really useful for that. I think I wonder how, this will be really interesting how it's scoring the competition score. Cause I've, I don't know what your thoughts are. Right. But obviously keyword difficulty on Ahrefs is massively flawed. If you think of it, because it's a, a keyword difficulty is only based on the referring domains pointing through to a website. Right. So for example, if you've got the likes of BBC Forbes, an independent ranking for a certain keyword is going to come back saying, listen, mate, juliangoldie.com isn't going to rank. It's, it's going to struggle because it's, it's a keyword difficulty of, let's say, 60, right? But if you think of it, keyword difficulty is massively flawed because it doesn't take into consideration topical authority of that website. So yes, BBC, Independent and Telegraph are ranking for a specific keyword, but they might not have 300 articles specifically talking about lawnmowers or whatever else. So it'll be interesting to know how Gemini's scored that. Yeah, a lot of people as well are rating Mangle's tool. Because it has a lot more factors in the algorithm for calculating mm -hmm. keyword competition score versus, like you say, Ahrefs is literally just like backlinks. How many backlinks are pointing to each page? Yeah, it, it is very much like what you just done. Like, yeah, it's a keyword difficulty. It's 65, that, that, that keyword. Um, so, yeah, it will be interesting. Um, the other thing I think with like competition scores is a pretty helpful content update. If you saw LinkedIn or Reddit or Cure ranking on the first page, it was like, that's going to be a keyword I can rank for. Now, if you see that, you're like, I can't compete with that. It's too easy to rank on these sites versus my own site. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, it, it would just be interesting to know whether they're more so focused on the topical authority side of stuff or potentially even both. I would assume that it's taken the ideas from some of the Google Ads data, but I wonder there's if no confirmation. there's no confirmation. It could be I wonder good. if you could just ask it, how have you calculated the competition score? For me, though, as well, I would take the search volume and the competition score with a pinch of salt. I'd yeah. be like, right, let's look at the trends, not the actual estimations. Yeah, so it's calculated based on keyword length specificity to the and then <laughs> search volume. <laughs> yeah, see, th th this this is my my issue. Like, I don't. F oh wait, is it, is it looked at backlink profile? It can't do right. It says it says it would, but oh well, no, tools, tools like Ahrefs like and SEMrush to do that. But yeah, the other thing you can do is like you can double check responses on Google as well. So if you're trying to fact check something or just get a second opinion, mm -hmm. that's quite a useful tool. I saw that as well. You can filter between like shorter, longer, simpler, more casual, and more professional. 
That's quite cool. Well, um, before before we started recording, you said that you use it for um, image generation as well. What What's that like? It's okay. I wouldn't say it's as good as ChatGPT yet, but again, I would expect it to improve. So it's giving you an example prompt right here. So you just go to new chat and then it will give you some ideas for prompts and then you can click on, say, generate a playful image. And then right, you can okay. change the prompt. Say, for example... Generate two guys recording YouTube videos. <laughs> two geezers recording YouTube videos. And then make the image visually stunning, playful, and joyful, capturing the essence of SEO. <laughs> Let's see what this comes back with. I'm intrigued now. Here is a vibrant and lively image depicting two geezers recording YouTube videos. I like the fact that it's just use the word geezer. We've just taught it. <laughs> That's going to be us top you know, left. Fair play. When we're at a million subscribers, <laughs> that'll be us. <laughs> it don't, I mean, it's better than I expected, actually. It could have been a lot worse. The I mean, one thing I would bad. say is not related to SEO at all. But no, it's apart not. from that, it's, it's not bad, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that that's been that's been our, our video on Gemini. Is there anything else that you use Gemini for? There's a um, couple of things that I can see the potential for. I wrote it down actually in this document. So one of them was actually it, it can link, it can call Google Drive, right? So you can look through your whole Google workspace and then you can call between apps, which is really unique. I've never seen that before. And I guess it's only going to work on the Google ecosystem, right? So for example, if you say, give me links to SAPs about AI on my Google Drive, you'll actually use Google Workspace to find that for you. Mm -hmm. So you can see it says finding your documents with Google Workspace, accessing the assessing <clears throat> documents, etc., And then it'll find like links to, to the most relevant things that you ask for, right? So for uh, example, you can see my perplexity 3.0 prompts that we literally just did, what, two minutes ago, 10 minutes yeah. ago. Same for this one. So I think that could be really useful because you can say like, okay, based on this SAP, try and do this. Mm -hmm. Based on this topical map SAP, try and do that. That would be very, very interesting if you can do that. And I wonder as well if you could even get it to end up sending like emails for you or drafting emails for you in your inbox. Probably not on this version, but in the future, is that coming? Absolutely, I think. And one final thing I wanted to say was that you can use your microphone inside Gemini. So you could actually conversate with Gemini or if you just don't want to type. Sometimes, for example, I was speaking to Chris Pantelli the other day from Link Linkify, and he mm -hmm. was talking about how he recommends if you're trying to do an expert quote, speak and transcribe what you said, because then the AI is going to capture, okay, this is how the person speaks naturally in the conversation. And therefore, when you craft a response to say expert quotes on Twitter to get backlinks, mm -hmm. it's written in a very unique way that sounds very conversational rather than, you know, your generic chat GPT fluff. Yeah, that's, 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 that's quite a good one, actually. Um, so yeah, that has been our video on Gemini. Uh, make certain to check it out. You can either use the free version or you can also pay for the advanced version. I think the, the advanced version is like £20, um, so maybe like $25 a month or whatever. And at the minute, you get two months for free as well, so you don't actually get billed until the two months is over. Um, and if you guys do want any SEO help for your website, make sure to check out casualdash.com. Thanks. Cheers.